Hello and welcome to the Crypto Jungle. My name is Baloo and here on the channel, I keep crypto simple. We are a no hype, no bull crap type of channel. We look at the charts, look at the fundamentals, try to eliminate all of the crap that exists in cryptocurrency because there's a lot of it. So if you're new to the channel, I wanna welcome you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, <clears throat> and in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit more of an educational video. So I'm gonna start doing more of these educational style videos to help you guys with your analysis, to help you guys with your ability to um, you know, have different metrics that you can be looking at when you're doing your technical analysis. Uh, but I'm still going to be doing the live shows every Monday and Friday. So the live shows uh, to bookend the week with a little bit of educational stuff in the middle. That's interesting to you, then hit the subscribe button. Today's video, I wanna talk about how, or I wanna talk about a tool that you can use that goes along with the Wyckoff method. One of the three laws of Wyckoff, the law of cause and effect. Typically, when we're looking at a trading range, when we're looking at an accumulation or a distribution or a reaccumulation or a redistribution, what we're looking at at its core is just the strength of the consolidation. Once we have kind of a bias in terms of direction, we can then apply uh, a point and figure chart, uh, which is one of the oldest styles of chart analysis, uh, and we can do counts to kind of determine general price projection, both to the upside and to the downside. So in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on Bitcoin. I'm starting to really lean, well, I've been leaning bearish for the last uh, little while here. We are in a macro downtrend, but I'm going to be taking a little bit more of a look on the downside targets if they were to in fact play out and execution. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the king of all cryptocurrency, and that is Bitcoin. So taking a look at Bitcoin on the daily, we're looking at this consolidation range right here. So it's really starting to look a lot like redistribution. So I'll just pull up this schematic right here. You can clearly see we have, you know, our seller's climax, automatic rally, secondary test, up thrust, failed up thrust, a curling over, and then a little bit of an LPSY, last point of supply before the continuation of the markdown event. We have a very similar structure here. Seller's climax, automatic rally, secondary test, up thrust, failed up thrust, and a curling over of that price action. So it's pretty clear that we can determine that, you know, the market's really weak and there's a possibility of a continuation. To so how do we prepare for this? How do we find price objectives? How do we find targets to kind of, uh, you know, place stink bids if you want to play stink bids? or just uh, potentially have take profit levels if you are one of those individuals who does like to short the market. Um, <clears throat> so how do you kind of do that? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, it's maybe a little bit of a boring video. There's a lot of math and stuff involved, but I'm gonna switch over to the point and figure chart. So point and figure, one of the OG methods of chart analysis, it does not use time horizons whatsoever. So each one of these bars, not a measure of time, it is strictly a measure of volatility. A very simple way to do, um, you know, to analyze price, uh, but it's not very common these days. Most people don't use, everybody is either using bar charts or uh, the candlestick charts or area charts. Very rare that you'll find uh, these being used today. We have a few parameters on this one, uh, just so that you are aware I am using, I'm not gonna go into the finer details of point and figure work because it takes a while for me to do the count, but we are using a traditional point and figure chart. There is ATR and traditional, we are using traditional and our box size is 500. So what that represents is each one of these X's and each one of these O's represents a $500 increment in the movement of Bitcoin. So. Uh, we're using a 500 box size and we're using a three box reversal. Three box reversal means the transition from up to down requires three boxes or a $1,500 move before you switch directions back to the downside. So this is what the consolidation that we're looking at looks like on a point and figure chart. So without any further ado, let's get into the counts so that we can determine 
and price targets. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement from the entry into the consolidation. This is for a more bearish case. If you want to go a little less bearish, you could go with the next bar in, but I want the worst case scenario as far as the count is concerned. So I'm just going to grab a measurement. Oh. No. And I'm going to pull that over to the exit of the consolidation, the potential exit. So if this goes back in and continues to consolidate, we'll have to do the measurement again. Um, but we're looking at uh, the amount of bars that we have, and it's 12 bars long for this consolidation. So 12 is the number that we are looking at. So then we are going to go ahead and grab our calculator. <coughs> we're going to determine the value of the consolidation, the cause that has been built to determine the uh, anticipated effect. This works both bullish and bearish when you're in a long-term accumulation, getting the upside targets. When you're in a distribution, you're getting the downside. Today, because we're leaning a little bit bearish on Bitcoin, we're gonna be looking at the downside targets. So um, 12 is the number of columns. We are going to times that by the box size. The box size is 500. That gives us 6,000 and we're going to times that by the reversal. We have a three box reversal, $1,500 to change the direction of the chart. So we will times that by three, giving us a price um, of $18,000. So the value of the redistribution that we currently have valued at around $18,000. So we're going to jump back into the charts and there's a couple areas that I want to make note of. First, I want to pull this, make this full screen. I don't think we, oh, we might use the key. I'm gonna grab my pen tool. We're gonna take a measurement from this area right here and this area right here. This is the up thrust as we have marked right there. And this is the LPSY, the last point of supply. If you guys are confused as to these acronyms, this is the Wyckoff method. This what we study on this channel. Uh, it's one of the oldest methods of analysis. Uh, it was invented in the early 1900s. So uh, that's what we practice here in the jungle. And uh, this is, so if these acronyms are kind of confusing you, feel free to Google them or join the free Discord. So uh, we do have a free side of the Discord. There's a paid side as well, where we do the mentorship training and, and coin calls, but there's also a free side for you to get the free uh, PDFs and uh, educational material that you can self study this method because I just wish that this method was popular, interested, join the free Discord. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a measurement from the top of the up thrust. We're going to minus $18,000. And then we're going to go from the top of the LPSY and we're going to minus $18,000. And that's going to give us a little bit of a range. Okay, so let's uh, hover our hover our cursor over this bar. And if you drive your attention over to this um, part of the chart here on TradingView, you can see the OHLC, the open high, low close. You're looking for the high, so we'll go back over to this column. The high is 40,500. That is the peak of the up thrust as far as the point and figure chart is concerned. So we will go ahead and we will grab, oops, this, grab our calculator again. We will clear that out. 40,500 is the top of the up thrust. We will, Get there and we will subtract the value of the consolidation which is eighteen dollars that gives us a price projection of twenty two thousand five hundred for target downside target okay these you know, I, there's nothing nothing is a guarantee okay i'm just telling you that these are the anticipated downside targets so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a uh, line tool i am going to set the coordinates of that at twenty two thousand five hundred Boom. And then we are going to do our next measurement. So we'll go to the uh, high of the LPSY. And that is 35.5. Going back over to our calculator. $35,500 minus the box or the consolidation value of 18,000, giving us 17,500. So we will grab our line tool again our horizontal line tool and we will set the coordinates down 
That's seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. So this is our price objective range. There is a conservative price objective, and there is kind of a more ambitious price objective. So it gives us a bit of a range, which is nice because you're not having super specific targets where you're intended to take action. You're, you're able to observe the price action when it's in that zone to make your decisions. So uh, that's pretty much it for the point and figure chart. We have our counts. So now I'm going to flip it back over to the candlestick chart and get rid of a few of these drawings here that are no longer necessary. <clears throat> I should use the uh, text tool instead of having to delete all these little lines here and now let's take a look at these targets and wow would you look at that so you know i always looking for confluence uh in my analysis to find support levels to find resistance levels using fibonacci retracements using uh, point and figure charts using just analyzing the price candles and if it were me looking at this chart i think i've done this on previous streams where i said the areas to be looking for is kind of this area where we had this consolidation right in this general area where we uh, ran into a little bit of supply on the way up, as well as we would be looking for this area. So more confluence in this area. We have the point and figure charts pointing us in this direction in this general range. And we have just the price candles looking at those support and resistance points pointing us in this and at these targets for potential support. Furthermore, if we just uh, back it up a little bit, let's actually get rid of those boxes back it up and we'll look for some further confluence with the alphanumetrics indicator on the weekly oh we don't have the red wave showing on this chart the three days showing us so the three day I, I think the weekly would kind of have us down in this range but I'm on the FTX chart which you know is not long enough I should have done a little bit uh should have prepared for that but oh well let's flip over back to the daily and we're going to do another uh, measurement to get some confluence. If you guys are interested in this alphanumetrics chart, it also comes with membership inside of the crypto jungle. Links down below if you guys are wanting to uh, join this community and learn the Wyckoff method, learn how to trade, learn to, how to analyze charts and learn how to move a lot of the nonsense and even start blockchain companies like uh, what we're doing with the Axie Infinity ecosystem, blockchain businesses. Okay, we are not uh, incorporated. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Fibonacci for one last area of confluence. I'm gonna go right down to the area of the COVID shakeout and bring that up to the tippy top of our all-time high for Bitcoin. And would you look at that? Look at how that is sitting exactly on the 0 0.86786 line. So a lot of confluence on several different metrics. It's just another tool in the toolkit for you to be able to determine downside targets, upside targets, and uh, knowing that consolidations take time. So you need to allow these formations to develop. It creates patience, it creates understanding, and it will help you become a better trader. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If there are any projects that you would like me to take a look at, leave them in the comments section down below. Until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there.